What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. We are talking more about this mass hog rider attack strategy that I think is gonna be very, very popular post update. As you guys may have been seeing, we have the uh, new update coming that's gonna be affecting Town Hall 12 very heavily uh, to Clash of Clans. Basically, we have uh, new hero levels, um, new skeleton spell, uh, update to kind of make it more powerful earthquake spell as well new golem level as well as some other offensive and defensive uh, changes coming and new levels being added uh, mainly to town hall 12 so uh, i think it's a lot of good stuff to look forward to um and should be interesting interesting to see how it pans out but in my last video not too long ago i talked about this mass hog rider attack strategy where you suey the heroes in Get the town hall if you can and then just wipe out the base with hogs from there and a lot of people were saying oh that's great but you were doing it with a lava hound in the clan castle and like archers which really isn't realistic um so i went ahead and threw in some different clan castle troops and it doesn't really make that much of a difference uh there is a slight difference but uh, i'll go into that in detail in this video you can see here we had uh, ice golem dragon and balloon cc but it's not going to be much of an issue really here uh, the dragon will go down to that double poison spell. But yeah, if it's a fresh hit, um, which I guess it can be in, you know, like ESL type wars, uh, Supercell uh, League wars, where you only get one attack per base, um, or if you're just hitting fresh for whatever reason in a regular war, um, and you don't know what the CC is, then yeah, um, it could be a small CC. Perhaps that's what you guys see more than the Lava Hound. Can't say the same for uh, my own experience, but not everyone has the same type of wars that I do. But my point is, um, in, th in those situations, you're just going to want to bring two poison spells, two skeleton spells, and one free spell, as, uh, as well as four heal spells. And um, pretty straightforward, you have one less heal spell than you otherwise would. If you watched my previous video, the original uh, attack strategy video uh, for this mass hog rider attack, I kind of showed the uh, attacks with the Lava Hound CC and um, the spell composition was five heal spells, uh, I believe two skeletons and one poison. But you add in that second poison to make sure you can kill uh, high HP troops such as dragons, um, even like Valks, Wishes can be tricky to kill with only one poison. So it's important to have that second poison to make sure everything gets taken out because the CC, the CC is not intended to be lured out by the heroes. Although if it is, that's actually to your benefit because then you can use like one of your poison spells to partially or fully kill the CC uh, with your heroes. The only thing that would be bad is if it's too much guarding the town hall so it prevents your heroes from getting the town hall. But that's not typically the case because the bases are pretty big at town hall 12. Um, here, I don't think the CC is going to be lured out. Um, so anyway, coming in, I changed up the CC a little bit. I believe we have like, some Valks, Baby Dragon, Witch type CC. Uh, we'll be seeing different combinations throughout the video of these damage type CCs that might be more common in your guys' experience. And yeah, that's what you do. You just uh, poison it. You use the freeze spell to freeze the CC, hold it in place. That was kind of a bad freeze. I should have frozen the Eagle and the Queen as well. Um, instead, I only got the Clan Castle, so as a result, a lot of those hogs died that were going for the eagle, and that's okay because those skeletons, the skeletons from the skeleton spell, are very uh, tanky with that extra like shield they now carry, um, and they're able to take down the queen, uh, CC goes down to the poison spell, and from there they're able to take out the eagle as well, which works out very nicely. Um, so yeah, just, just keep that in mind. Basically what you do, uh, drop most of your hogs, you're coming in towards the eagle hopefully, you're going to be encountering you know, defensive queen, maybe even defensive king as well, CC troops, a lot of stuff. You're going to want to heal early. And then typically, the way I like to do it is you get that poison down nice and early, the first one, and then you get that freeze down as well. Uh, and then at some point, you want to hit the warden's ability. I mean, these are all tools you have. Warden's ability is good for when getting it done before the hogs spread out too much, uh, when they're all still close to the warden in a compact group. That's when you get the best value because you get the most hogs in your warden's ability. Because you'd be surprised how much you actually don't uh, get all your troops inside that warden's range. Because he lags back a little bit sometimes. 
So yeah, hit that Warden's ability relatively early, heal relatively early, get that first poison down relatively early, as well as that free spell where needed. But what are you waiting on? Well, you're going to be waiting on that second poison, especially if it's like a high uh, HP clan castle composition, because in that case, you want to make sure you drop your second poison to kill the dragon if it's still up, or a witch if it's still alive. You don't want the CC to get away from you. And uh, these attacks aren't always the best example. I mean, these are just kind of some fresh attacks that uh, worked out well, but could have gone even better if I uh, was able to do it over again. Um, so you'll see here, I think it might be this attack where the witch stays alive uh, for most of the most of the attack. The hogs have to like kill it at the end or something. So, uh, or the skeletons or something. But yeah, you want to save that second poison and see where it's needed, depending on where the CC troops end up going. If they follow your hogs, if they go for your warden, whatever. Um, you can adapt to that. And then also the skeleton spells, if you drop them too early, uh, before the hogs have started to clear the area, they'll get taken out by the heroes, the splash damage, the inferno towers, all that stuff. So you want to be nice and patient and kind of drop it as the area is almost cleared out. So basically you're dropping in a more or less empty compartment while the queen is in there. And then uh, that should be good to go because the queen herself can't defend herself from all those skeletons. Um, you can drop it like amidst some defenses and you'll see, I believe it's this attack where uh, it was actually not bad, you know, good timing. Uh, it's a single Inferno Tower, which is nice. And the Hogs are taking that area out. They're going to be moving on. So I drop both Skeleton Spells uh, in that compartment with the King and the Queen. And what ends up happening is the Warden's lagging behind. And he actually ends up triggering some uh, bombs as well as like a Giant Bomb. And that will just immediately kill all the Skeletons, which ruins the, uh, the King and Queen kill right there. I mean, you know, right away, like every single Skeleton died. Uh, so... That was unfortunate. Um, still playing of hogs, the attack will go for a three star, but you know these are the things that can happen um, just due to the some of the uncertainties of this attack because of uh, how you're taking out the defensive heroes. Uh, but it works out. It's the three star. We'll take a look at one more before we wrap this one up. Um, but a lot of people, like I said in the last video, were saying, okay, well, do it with a small CC. This doesn't mean anything. Lava Hound CC. And I hope this can kind of clarify a little bit. Uh, it, this does work uh, with a, a small CC, a damage CC, you can call it. Um, I believe there's like a dragon combination in this clan castle, I'm not sure. Uh, we shall see. But um, yeah, typically that's what you're going to have to be worrying about. I mean, people can bring like an electro dragon, but that's, I mean, I won't, don't want to speak too soon, but I don't think that would be too much of an issue uh, for the hogs. Although I guess it could get some chain damage, but. Really, no one brings Electro Dragons in the CC that has any type of a serious base up. Um, so these are the typical CCs you're going to see, either like a Dragon Ice Golem Balloon or a Dragon Witch, or like a Baby Dragon Valk Witch combination. Uh, if not, the easier one, which is going to be the Lava Hound uh, with Archers or Baby Dragon or whatever, in which case it's much easier just to poison uh, and then ignore the Lava Hound itself. So uh, last attack here, Hogs going in. You'll see we have that heal nice and early. We got two balloons, baby dragon, witch, I think a Valk in there as well. Um, pop the Warden's ability, good timing, right as they're encountering everything. I had to use the free spell to <coughs> uh, let the heroes in uh, with the wall breakers there. So no free spell. I kind of interchanged the Warden's ability for the freeze. Got both poisons down nice and early to make sure that uh, the, the CC died before it could spread out too much. Um, if the CC is, you know, in a set location, you know, don't be afraid to get the second poison down uh, relatively early. Just don't drop both poisons at once, because um, they can get very weird in terms of their pathing and end up not staying inside the area you think they otherwise would. So the hogs moving through, even got a few hogs for that troll Tesla. That's why you want to save on to a f or hold on to a few uh, towards the end of the attack for things like that. But uh, I think the hogs actually start to peter out here, and we end up getting all the defenses down, but losing all our hogs as well. Luckily, the goblins are great at cleanup. Um, typically, you know, for this, you don't have your heroes most of the time. Uh, you might have a few skeletons inside the base, but they really don't do much cleanup because they get stuck with the walls. So you got to make sure you have, you know, five, six wizards, five goblins. You know, don't run out of time on this one, especially because. 
if it doesn't triple, you want to get high percentage, so you need stuff to clear out whatever you can. Uh, but this one will go for a three star. The goblins are good at clean up with those wizards there. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Like I said, hopefully this kind of clears up uh, that this strategy is very versatile, and I think you guys will have a lot of success with it. If not now, then once the update comes out. So be looking for the update coming out soon, and uh, I'll be trying to cover it as best I can. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.